Have you ever asked yourself, what would I risk to have my dreams come true? My health? My livelihood? My entire future? Superstars, the opportunity of a lifetime is within their reach. It will evade them, it will entice them, and it will slip out of their grasp. When the carnage has ended, one superstar will have risen high above the rest. His championship dream seized, his career redefined. As money in the bank. And now, Ring of Clothing and Ringside Collectibles presents MDT Money in the Bank. What is good, everybody? We are here live at MDT Money in the Bank. It is finally time to crown our first ever Mr. Money in the Bank here in MDT. As you know, inside that Money in the Bank briefcase is a contract for a guaranteed MDT championship match at any given time up to a year. I am very, very excited to see what action holds for us tonight. But uh, we, we got to run down the match card here first before we get into things of of course, up first, we have the MDT Live Money in the Bank ladder match between these six participants who earned their shot in this Money in the Bank match. They had qualifiers on MDT Live episodes leading up to this. We have six great combatants here in this matchup. It could literally go all of six ways. And, of course, later on in the evening, we have our MDT Championship match between the interim general manager, Edge, taking on John Cena, who is making his debut here in MDT. He showed up on MDT Live to challenge Edge and he accepted, so here we are for this match. And of course, over on Vindication, we have Kenny Omega, who does not have an opponent for tonight. So he has to come out to the ring, and he has to hold an open challenge. He was given this information by Eric Bischoff that he must defend his championship here tonight. So he is here to hold an open challenge and see who answers it. Of course, as always, I have my brother Taylor with me here on commentary for tonight's action. What is good, everybody? Well, tonight we are starting things off with the Vindication Money in the Bank, and it is no ordinary. It is the Bullet Club Money in the Bank briefcase, but it does not contain a championship contract. It contains 250 grand. When it's making their way to the ring from California, weighing in a combined weight of 412 pounds, they are Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks. This, of course, is the debut of Matt and Nick Jackson. They have not wrestled in-ring competition on any episode of Vindication. It appears that Nick Jackson is turning down a two-sweep from Brother Matt. It looks that, you know, every man for himself here in this Money in the Bank briefcase. I guess uh, Nick Jackson doesn't want any part of his brother tonight. They are every man for themselves here in this fatal four-way match for 250 grand. The Young Bucks coming out first here as we're going to open the show with a banger. I did not expect this match to open the show. Hell yeah. But this should definitely be a great one. As you see, the Bullet Club Money in the Bank briefcase hanging high above here. This should be a very intense matchup. Making his way to the ring from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 210 pounds, Adam Cole. You know, I don't think you ever get sick of hearing that crowd reaction when Adam Cole hits the scene, Brad. Absolutely not, baby. As you know, this is also the in-ring debut of Adam Cole. We have not seen him wrestle on Vindication at all. And uh, this should be interesting to see how these three fare in their in-ring debut for Vindication. Absolutely. 
Adam Cole definitely going to be a favorite coming into this. He has very much experience in ladder matches. Making his way to the ring from Marietta, Georgia, weighing in at 216 pounds, he is the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. You know, Brad, Cody Rhodes has two wins on Vindication. He's actually 2-0 coming into this matchup. He has a win over Baron Corbin and Rusev coming into this match. Two dominant wins at that. you got to think that he has a lot of hot momentum coming into this ladder match. Definitely a lot of momentum. And I think that uh, he has the upper hand here. You know, these three men actually got into a fight in the backstage locker room. The Young Bucks and Adam Cole over, you know, the money that they would use in this matchup. But Cody Rhodes, you know, he was focused on the match itself. So I think that he has a definite upper hand here as he points to the prize hanging high above the ring. And here we go, all four men squaring each other up. Who's going to hit first? Well, it looks like Cody Rhodes is going to take a dive out of the ring, Brad. He's oh, going... it's the smart call right there. Oh, and we've seen this before on Vindication. Oh, the as he's flipping, he's flipping the burst to his brothers of the Bullet Club. And... Oh, super oh! kick! And another... Oh, no, Matt Jackson takes over. I thought he was for sure going to land that super kick. And Matt Jackson is taking it to Adam Cole here. And there co here comes Cody Rhodes from behind. Oh, oh! super kick there to Matt Jackson. He lands it that time as both Young Bucks are laid out in the middle of the ring and Cody Rhodes looking to distract Adam Cole. Hey now. He's telling him to come get some as Adam Cole is distracted. He better turn around because the oh, Young Bucks are now. getting back to their feet. Oh! Super kick, double he's super out. kick, Brad. Oh my God, Jesus! He fell all the way to the outside of the ring. My goodness. And Matt Look Jackson. Out now. Reverse there, Nick Jackson Roll popping up. up on his feet. Oh, Whoa. nice athleticism here by both Young Bucks as they're trading blows. Using more, oh, Whoa. and a nice backbreaker there from Nick Jackson as he pops back on his feet. His, Hip up. his brother to follow. Oh, ladder. Oh, good Lord. Cody Rhodes pops the Jacksons with the ladder there as he takes a shot at the money in the bank briefcase here high above the ring, but he can't reach. It's the short ladder what cliche. Adam? And Adam Cole jumping the ladder over here as Cody Rhodes is going to take a tumble of his own. And Adam Cole... I know that he's feeling the marks from that super kick he took earlier. And oh my goodness, I Look think he's, there. he's taking a climb. I swear that never gets on. He's coming ah. up the top. Good Lord, what a jump there from Adam Cole as Cody Rhodes is trying to make it back to his feet here on the outside. But here comes Cole. Cole getting back up on his feet as well as he's taking a ladder and going back inside the ring. And here comes Cody. He's not going to take any of it here as he... Takes on oh, his brother oh, Adam Cole as he's Jesus. landing shots back and forth here on the barricade. And Matt Jackson joins in. And Where's Nick going? But it looks like Nick. Where the hell is Nick going? He's up on the freaking scaffolding. He's taking oh it. Oh, my God. God. Good Lord. He lands on all three members of the Bullet Club there. My goodness. Christ. Crushed all three of them. And now he's on his feet, Brad. He may, he may win this thing right now. Cody Rhodes trying to make it back to his feet. His, his brother Matt to follow. As Nick Jackson sets a ladder up in the corner, he's he's also setting up a taller ladder that can actually reach he's the briefcase. He's going to win this thing. I think he's got it, Brad. There's nobody else in the ring. Oh, there's Matt. There's, there's his brother. Oh, Lord God. Oh, power bomb. Jesus God. Christ. You know that's going to hurt the spinal cord of Nick Jackson right there, Brad. Jesus. He fell a long way straight into the steel ladder. And Matt Jackson looks like he's going to be taking a climb here, Brad, as he finally has... Climbed up the ladder. He may He's win this thing it. right here. Oh, there's, oh, there's Cody. Cody. Cody in the corner. Matt Jackson stops. Oh, look, but he shouldn't. There comes oh, dropping. Jesus, Lord. He fell a long way off that ladder there. And the very innovative move there from Cody Rhodes as the springboard drop kick there. As Adam Cole now is, oh, he better look out. Jeez. Oh. Right into the wrist of Cody Rhodes with that ladder. Adam Cole here. Adam Cole trying to get back into the ring. Jesus! Oh, super kick! Super kick right into the face of Adam Cole, and that ladder definitely added some damage as Nick Jackson is walking back around here trying to get up on the apron to get back into the ring here. Cody Rhodes also making it back to his feet here. 
And I don't think Cody likes his brother on the apron. I think he's going to take care of it here. Uh -oh. Springboard drop kick. There oh. he goes. Goodness Lord. Both members of the Young Bucks have taken a ton of damage already in this matchup here. As Cody gets back to his feet, here comes Matt Jackson. It looks like they're both going to take a climb. Both men at the top of the ladder now. Trying to make a reach at the briefcase. This could be it. Oh, he's got him. Oh, oh headbutt. Oh. Jesus. A headbutt straight to the skull of Matt Jackson. And Cody Rhodes has got it. But here comes Adam Cole. Oh. Right into the leg of Cody Rhodes. My God, he's coming down. Oh, what a fall. And he falls hard. My goodness. Adam Cole with that ladder again to Cody Rhodes' ankle as he sets up a ladder in the corner here. And Adam Cole could definitely make a climb right now. But here comes Nick. Oh, he stops him. Plants one in Nick's face. Makes him fall to the turf here as Adam Cole is on the offense now following Nick into the corner. And it's so crazy, Brad. We've seen these guys tear each other Ooh. apart already. Brutal chops to the chest. Brutal chops to the chest indeed as Cody Rhodes finally gets back to his feet after that ankle slap with the Here ladder. Comes Matt. Here comes his brother Matt to help him out in the corner. Kicks Ooh. him square in the face. As Nick's got Adam now. Oh, strong Irish whip. Oh, God. Very strong Irish whip into the corner as Adam Cole lands on that ladder and Cody Rhodes putting another large ladder into the ring. And here comes... Oh, oh! Super kick missed. And oh, they missed both... It. They dragged them both out of the ring. My goodness. They fell straight off the apron as it looks like Cody Rhodes is going to take a climb here. He's got both big ladders in the middle of the ring. But Adam here comes Cole. Cole to follow indeed. But Nick Jackson and Matt Jackson... Look like they're going to be playing monkey games, Brad. What is Nick Jackson doing over there? He's climbing up on the Look scaffold. Look at Matt on the other side. Oh, my oh, God. Wow. Meanwhile, Cody and Adam fall straight out of the ring, and both bucks of youth are climbing on the scaffold in oh the middle my of the ring. Oh, my God. This is very dangerous indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, do not try this at home. I don't know what the hell they're trying to do here. They're trying to reach for the briefcase. Somebody call Jim Cornette. Oh, 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 my God. He fell so far. Matt's got it. Matt's going to win the match. And oh, my That's God. Cody. God. His neck landed straight on that ladder, Brad. We got to get EMTs out Both here. Both bucks are done. This is over. Cody Rhodes is going to be winning this match, Brad. There's literally no other way. Everybody has fallen so far. Here comes Cody Rhodes setting up the ladder in the middle of the ring. He's got it. He comes to the top. Here it is. What the hell? What the hell? He's zipping. Oh, my God. It's cold. He can't go down. Oh my off. God! Adam Cole just Batman his way to the top of the ladder. And he's got it, Brad. He's got the money bank and briefcase in hand. And Adam Cole has won the $250,000 after he zip lines the scaffolding and kicks Cody Rhodes to oblivion. Wow. Off, off the top of the ladder. My goodness. What a performance by all four men. They all laid it here on the line tonight for the literal money in the bank. What a hell of an opener for tonight's show. Definitely vindication, definitely delivered with that Bullet Club money in the bank. Again, huge congratulations to Adam Cole here, as it looks like he's going to open up the briefcase. Oh, there it is. And take a look at all of that dough, Brad. I can definitely think of a lot of uses for that money. We'll have to see what Adam Cole purchases with his loot. What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys telling you that Elite 59 is in stock and shipping now over at WrestlingFigures.com, Ringside Collectibles, as well as the SummerSlam 2018 Elites featuring Dean Ambrose, Edge, Matt Hardy, and Seth Rollins. Go over there and use that code and get those figures. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to MDT Money in the Bank. It is time for Tables Match Action. The following is a tables match, and it is for the United States Championship. The only way to win the match is to put your opponent through a table. No Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 225 pounds, Shelton Benjamin. Shelton Benjamin looking for retribution in this match, Brad. You know, our last pay-per-view, he actually was attacked before he could even try to compete for his United States Championship back. So it'll be interesting to see if he shows up here tonight. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Is that Dean Ambrose in the crowd what? right what there? Oh, my God, it is. It's Dean Ambrose. Shelton doesn't even notice him. And here he comes, Brad. He's on the barricade. Oh, my God. Oh. He strikes him in the skull of that U.S. Championship. My goodness gracious, alive. We're here. We're, we're live. We're going here. We are here. going. It is on. 
Dean Ambrose, cheap shot, Shelton Benjamin. He may win the match right here as he gives a few shots to the back of the skull as it looks like he's going to climb the ladder here and try to end this matchup right away. Just like Look out, shit. Benjamin. As he rolls off there, he rolls off the table. Thank goodness, Shelton Benjamin getting out of the way. Just like the shield, man. Trying to get in these cheap shots as Dean Ambrose has taken a jump. Oh. He comes up empty there as Shelton Benjamin strikes him in oh. the face with a kick. Very nice. Kick his ass. He scoops him up here, but reversed by Dean Ambrose. Gets out of it. He shoves him here into the scaffolding, oh, but uh, all the athleticism oh, of wow. Benjamin. He climbs up the side of the scaffolding. My goodness, he's jumping. Oh, very nice as he takes out Ambrose. As ladies and gentlemen, we know that Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns were banned from the building tonight to prevent any interference in this matchup. Good. So we should not see Seth Rollins or Roman Reigns Good. show up here tonight as Dean Ambrose makes it back to his feet. As Shelton Benjamin's going along the barricade, the athleticism again, clothesline. Good. Very nice by Shelton Benjamin to dive off the barricade using that athleticism, diving clothesline as Dean Ambrose is appearing to make it back to his feet as Shelton Benjamin is up on the apron himself here as he's going to jump off. Oh. oh, but Dean caught him. Dean caught him there. Oh, no. Oh, lands on his back as he pushes Shelton Benjamin straight into that scaffolding on the side of the ring. Dean Ambrose making Shelton Benjamin pay for the innovative offense that he tried to use. Shelton trying to make it back to his feet here as Dean Ambrose has a table that he's going to be sliding into the ring here. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, in a tables match, the first competitor to put their opponent through the table is the winner here. And we're, we could crown a new MDT US champion here tonight. As Dean Ambrose makes his way to the corner, strikes Shelton square in the face with a pair of shots. Another left as he adds insult to injury. He's going to take him and throw him into the table across the ring here. Careful now. This could end the matchup straight away. Here comes Dean Ambrose on the run. Oh, and a nice athleticism. Wow. Very nice by Shelton Benjamin. Oh, and a drop, drop kick. kick. Oh, lunatic lariat. Close line. Yeah. Very nice counter by Dean Ambrose and Shelton Benjamin, respectively, going back and forth here in this matchup. As Shelton Benjamin trying to make it back up onto his feet, but he better be careful because he's in front of a table. Careful, Benjamin. Anytime you're in front of a table, it could be the end. Oh, he trips him. He smashes Dean's face off that table there. Very nice reversal by Shelton Benjamin as he gets back to his feet. And Dean Ambrose is the one on the run now as he gets into the corner. Wasting no time. Here comes Shelton. Oh, lands the clothesline. And he's not finished. He's going with the springboard drop kick. Kick his ass. Right into the corner. Very nice by Shelton Benjamin here. Making it back up onto his feet. Looks like Shelton Benjamin has plans outside the ring here in front of us. As Dean Ambrose is laid waste. Shelton Benjamin's going to use this time to set up some tables of his own. No idea what he could be planning with his athleticism, Brad. You never know what he knows what he's doing. Yeah, definitely. I trust the judgment of Shelton Benjamin, but he Watch better look out. out. Oh, he misses. Kick. Oh, he misses oh. again. Very nice move. And a strike to Shelton Benjamin. Oh, Dean looking to end it. No, come on now. Looking for the suplex. But Shelton not letting him do it. Very nice. Oh, and a oh. straight kick to the chest by Shelton Benjamin. It looks like he's going to jump on the apron. Oh. Very nice. A, wow. a drop kick lands. Dean Ambrose onto the table here. As Shelton Benjamin is going to get on top of those tables. Oh, Careful Brad, we could, we could be seeing the... Oh, he hit him right in the ball sack. As Dean Ambrose hits him with a low blow. Dean Ambrose looking for the dirty no. deeds. He's looking for dirty deeds no. on the table. Shelton Benjamin trying to fight him off here. My goodness. This match could end any second. Christ. He can't land it as Shelton backs him back into the yes. ring. Shelton on the apron. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Dean Ambrose rolling back inside the ring. Here comes Dean Ambrose with a clothesline. Shelton lifts him over. But oh. He lands on the apron. Oh, here comes the clothesline. Oh, my God. Spanish oh. fly. Spanish fly. Shelton Benjamin wins. As Shelton Benjamin is now a two-time MDT U.S. champion as he steals his championship back from The Shield and Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose was unable to win this matchup probably because of the loss of his brother Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns were banned from this arena here tonight and they could not show up to help their brother and it cost him as Shelton Benjamin picks up a very crucial victory over Dean Ambrose. Congratulations to Shelton Benjamin.
What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys telling you to go over to ExtremeSets.com. Use that promo code MDT. Save yourself 15% and bring your WWE figure arena to life with the new arena pop-up as well as the backstage zone pop-up diorama. Really brings your setup to life and you can have a setup just as epic as the one you see here on My Damn Toys. Welcome back to MDT Money in the Bank as we have already seen two epic matchups. But it's time to find out if we'll have another one as Kenny Omega is coming out for his open challenge for the Elite Championship. Making his way to the ring from Winnipeg, Canada, weighing in at 222 pounds, he is the Elite Champion, Kenny Omega. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be very interesting to see who answers the challenge here from Kenny Omega for the Elite Championship. A uh, very scary situation, sort of, for Kenny Omega. You know, if he loses, he loses his Elite Championship. There's no way he's losing. He is the Kenny Omega. Well, the Kenny Omega has some words to speak before his challenge here tonight. Oh my, oh my god! The return of the Swiss Superman! Hell yeah! Cesaro is here on MDT Money in the Bank! We have not seen him since episode 2 of Vindication when he was violently assaulted by the Bullet Club resulting in injury with Kevin Owens. So this is very big here. Cesaro back in MDT. This is going to be especially special to see how he fares against the Elite Champion Kenny Omega here tonight at Money in the Bank. Elite Championship on the line again here tonight, Brad, as Kenny Omega will take on Cesaro. And we have never seen this matchup. You know, we saw where Kenny Omega was going to strike Cesaro in the skull, a chair. But besides that, we have not seen them interact with each other. So here we go. Oh, and the taunt of Kenny Omega to start off this uh, match. Cesaro won't stand for it. You know he's pissed off and ready oh, to go. There he goes, straight at him, but he's tripped up by Kenny Omega. Damn. Oh, looking for the V-Trigger. Oh, no, he comes up empty here as Cesaro tries for a roll-up, but Kenny rolls out of it here as he looks for another V-trigger. He comes up empty again there. Cesaro's back on his feet with multiple European uppercuts. uppercuts. Straight to the corner, another shot there. Got his ass. Another shot. Looks for another one, but Kenny ducks it uh -oh. out of the way. Oh, and an elbow straight to the face of Cesaro as Kenny looking for the German. God. And he lands it there, but Cesaro... Pops back up on his feet there. Oh! oh! Uppercut from Cesaro lays Kenny to waste as he comes here. Oh, my goodness. Reversing drop kick Christ. from Kenny Omega. These guys going straight at each other. 100 miles an hour here. Cesaro's trying to make it back to his feet. And Kenny wasted zero time. Close line. Out goes Cesaro. Cesaro lands on the outside here. And Kenny Omega looks like he's going to take a freaking jump out of the ring. Oh! Very nice over-the-top rope by Kenny Omega. Takes out Cesaro on the outside here. And Kenny with the leap from Bona. Good God. Lord. The athleticism by both men already on showcase here. As Kenny Omega lands that. And he's going to pick Cesaro back up and throw him back inside the ring. My goodness at the athleticism by Omega to jump over the six-foot-four Cesaro. And speaking of Jesus Look Christ. Look that God. The strength of Cesaro to launch Kenny Omega straight over the top rope into the outside. I know that Kenny's back has to be hurting. Jesus. He fell forever, it seemed like, as Kenny Omega finally gets back up on his feet here. And he better look out. Here comes Cesaro. Oh! Suicide diving Tope, uppercut. Suicida. Very nice there. My goodness, as Cesaro is celebrating, he believes he can win this matchup, but he better look out. Here comes Kenny Omega to the outside. My God, he's looking oh! like Frankensteiner. Jesus Christ, could break his neck. I think his face might be broken, Brad. As Kenny slides back into the ring, Cesaro still laid waste. He may be unconscious out there. 
as Kenny makes it back to his feet. And another taunt from the cleaner as Kenny Omega looking to lay waste to Cesaro. Cesaro back up on his feet now as Kenny Omega awaits Cesaro here in the ring. Cesaro slides back in. Oh, Kenny looking for the V-trigger. He comes up empty again. Oh. And Cesaro, oh, plants it with a sit-down powerbomb from his knees. Very innovative by Cesaro there. Hell yeah. It looks like Cesaro's looking for a move here. Careful now. Oh, he's looking for the springboard. Oh, Oh! oh! Went to a V-trigger! He V-triggered his ass off, Brad! He's gotta be out cold! He's not even moving! As Omega adds insult to injury with the final taunt of the matchup. My goodness! Here comes the pinfall from Omega. And Kenny Omega retains the Elite Championship here at MDT Money in the Bank. Spoils the return of Cesaro. My goodness! I gotta say, the heads up move of Kenny Omega to read that springboard uppercut and to deliver a V-trigger with such precision. The champion, Kenny Omega, retains. What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys. If you are enjoying this MDT Money in the Bank pay-per-view, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on all over to Keith the Fliff, and yeah. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we are about to see the in-ring debut of the man John Cena here on MDT Money in the Bank. How great. There he is, Brad John Cena, making his debut here at MDT Money in the Bank. He showed up on MDT Live Episode 5 to challenge Edge to this matchup. He accepted, and here we are to find out what can happen. I think the fans got it right with this chance. I don't know, Brad. I guess we'll have to see here tonight as he takes on the MDT Champion Edge. You think you know me? Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 243 pounds, he is the MDT champion, Edge! And there he is, Brad, the MDT champion, Edge, an interim general manager of MDT Live here, has a pay-per-view record of 1-0, and oh, he's undefeated, he defeated Randy Orton in blackout last time, as he shows up here to take on another future Hall of Famer in John Cena. You know, a lot of people are going to say that John Cena did not earn this matchup, and I don't think... I'll say that. I don't think they'd be wrong, Brad. I mean, he, he showed up, he challenged, and Edge accepted. So, I mean, that's all there is to it. MDT Championship on the line here between Edge and John Cena as we are about to be underway. And we are off here in this matchup as Edge and John Cena lock up in the middle of the ring here. And you know John Cena's got to have the strength aspect covered here as he gets behind Edge here and takes him straight to the canvas. Does he though? He's got to, Brad. He's one of the strongest on the entire roster here as Edge looks for a clothesline. Oh, I oh he lands him up. He got an attitude adjustment here. As he flips oh. him over onto the apron here. And a big clothesline by John Cena. As Edge goes out to the outside very early in this matchup John here. may have the strength, but Edge has got the smarts. That is definitely something to think of here in this matchup. As John Ooh. strikes Edge straight in the face here before taking him and throwing him back inside the square circle. As Edge makes it back to his feet in the ring here, John Cena entering into the ring. As he turns around, oh, oh. here! Oh my goodness, this could be over right now. It's going for the quick cover. Oh, and John ah. Cena powers out. My goodness. Just like we were talking about, Brad, the heads up athleticism and accuracy of Edge is very scary as he's daring John Cena to get back up already. He could be looking for another spear this early in the matchup. You could throw that man out of a helicopter and he'd still kick out it too. Well, here comes Edge for the spear. Oh, oh but John Cena scoops him up. Of course. Oh, look out! AA! 
Damn. He lands it. Here comes the cover. We can have a new champion. And kick out there from Edge. So both finishers expelled early here in this matchup. You could think that that's going to definitely take a toll on both men's stamina. As Edge crawls to the corner to make it back up onto his feet here. John Cena in the middle of the ring as both men tie up here again. Both men looking for the upper hand here as it looks like Cena's going to look for the Irish whip. As he throws Edge across the ring, here he comes back across looking for the clothesline. He Got lands him. it. Getting back up onto his feet now. Looking for another one. Edge ducks out of the way here. Kick to the sternum. Oh, oh looking for the execution. There it is. Very nice there by Edge. As Edge looks like he's got other plans here, as it looks like he's going to be making a climb to the top rope. John Cena trying to make it back to his feet after that Edge accusing straight to the skull. Both of them in stamina again. Oh, Edge is on top here, coming off. Oh, and the oh. missile drop kick. As you know, the stamina's got to be depleting already, Brad. I mean, three big moves to John Cena. A spear, an execution, and a driving drop kick off the top rope. It's, oh! And both men spill out to the outside after that big clothesline from Edge. Goodness gracious. MDT Championship on the line here in this matchup. As both men getting back to their feet here. Get this man out of my face. And they're sliding back in the ring, Brad, as you don't have to wait too much longer. Both men on their feet in the ring as they make their rounds again. And they both tie up and they're squaring off on each other early. Oh, Edge gets the upper hand. Uh -oh. oh, he misses here. Very uh -oh. nice. Scoop slam there by John Cena. It looks like he's going to look for the five-knuckle shuffle. Oh, here it comes here. Oh, oh, and another spear by Edge! Hell yeah! This could be it! And another Damn kick it. out! Another kick out by John Cena! Damn Edge it. thought he had it with two spears there. John Cena taking a lot of damage already. This is ridiculous. Two spears, an execution, and a missile dropkick, let alone the close on to the outside. Edge is thinking to himself, one more spear, and I've got him here. As John Cena crawls to the corner, Edge making the taunt to get back to his feet, waiting on John Cena like an animal waiting for its prey. John Cena up on his feet now in the corner. Here comes Edge for the spear. Oh, oh he's got him in the SCF. He oh, locked no. it in. He reversed it, and he's got it locked in. And we're going to have a new champion here. Edge could tap. Hang on, Edge. He can tap here in this matchup. Edge clinging to life as the STF is locked in. It's cinched in. Cinched in deep here as Edge is trying to crawl his way over to the ropes. Crawl, damn it, crawl. Oh, he can tap, Brad. He can tap. Ah. Oh, he makes it. He makes it to the ropes, forcing John Cena to let go of the STF. I thought we could have had a new champion right there. My goodness. Oh, and you know that's going to take a lot out of Edge there. The Absolutely. STF was locked in. The joints are screaming with pain. John Cena waiting on Edge to turn around, looking for the attitude adjustment here. Watch he, out, Edge. He spins around. He loads him up. This could be it. Ah, oh, John Cena. And Edge fighting back and forth as the elbows to the face of John Cena. There you go. Edge gets off here. He pushes him away. Looking for a clothesline. He comes up empty. Here comes Edge back across the ring. Misses the clothesline. Oh, oh and he gets Good out again. Boy. Oh, very nice by Edge. My goodness, you don't know who's going to land anything in this matchup. As both men back up on their feet here. Edge now turning back around. Oh, and a big clothesline from John Cena. And another big clothesline from John Cena. Come on, Edge. On the comeback now, he looks for a clothesline of his own, but he comes up empty. Oh. Oh, Lord God, Brad, you know what's coming next. Of course I do. The five-knuckle shuffle from John Cena. All right, he lands it. Damn it. Oh, here it comes. Brad Edge back up on his feet. He's looking for the AA. He loads him up. Come on, Edge. Fighting. He's fighting. He, he makes his way over to the ropes. He dumps him over onto the apron. Oh, my God. Oh, a strike from Edge. Oh, he's looking for the springboard. Oh, he got caught. Oh, no. He's caught by John Cena. No. Attitude adjustment. Here comes the cover.
And we have a new champion, God. John Cena defeats Edge here at MDT Money in the Bank. What a debut for John Cena. Your new MDT champion, my goodness. Edge could not put Cena away. He tried. Edge executed spear after spear. He could not get it done, and John Cena caught him slipping. The strength overpowers the brains here, as John Cena is your new MDT champion. Damn it. My goodness. A well-fought fight by both men on both sides. I don't know how you could get any better than that, Brad. Edge winning would have been better than that. I don't know, man. John Cena laid it all the... Oh, my God! Oh, there you go! A strike from Edge! Take his ass out. He to the cheated. Square to the back of the skull of John Cena! What is this attitude we are seeing from Edge? It seems that he is broken here, Brad. This, oh, what is this? This stupid part-timer comes in here and takes his belt that he worked his ass off for? I don't blame Edge at all. This isn't right, Brad. You know this isn't right. Oh, my goodness. He's looking to eliminate John Cena right here, Brad. My God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, my Lord. Concerto to John Cena. And his skull is busted open here. Vicious assault on John Cena. The salty edge after losing his MDT championship is taking it all out on John Cena, the newly crowned champion of My Damn Toys. What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys, encouraging you and pleading you to please leave us a long, thought-out, well review in the comments section. Let us know your favorite feuds, your favorite matches, some things you love, some things you didn't like. If there is any, we really encourage you to please leave us a long, thought-out review. You know, avoid the spoilers. Definitely don't leave any spoilers in the comments section. I would really appreciate it if you would give us some great feedback on the show, what you thought of it, and, you know, let's, let's get to this main event. I hope you guys enjoy it. I put a lot of effort into this. Enjoy the rest of the show. Welcome back to MDT Money in the Bank, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally time for our main event here tonight. The following is the Money in the Bank ladder match. The winner of this match will be the first superstar to ascend the ladder and retrieve the briefcase. Inside this briefcase is a contract for a championship opportunity for up to one year. This contract can be cashed in any place at any time. It is finally here, Brad. I'm very excited to see what all six of these superstars do here tonight in this match. Absolutely. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds. He is the fighter, Randy Orton. Randy Orton, of course, defeated AJ Styles on MDT Live episode number four. It's on over. controversial circumstances. But still defeated AJ Styles, even though CM Punk did get involved. Randy Orton took advantage and won the matchup, and here he is instead of a phenomenal one. Making his way to the ring from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Rock Van Dam. The extreme champion himself, RVD, looks to make his presence known here in the Money in the Bank ladder match. The whole effing show. Making his way to the ring from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jim Hardy! The charismatic enigma here in his second match ever on MDT Wrestling. Jeffrey Hardy, ready to get things broken. Jeff Hardy and ladders, Brad, that sounds like a recipe for disaster for the rest of the superstars in this matchup.
Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Christian! My pick to win, the man that nobody has any faith in, Christian! He is the definite underdog, you could say, Brad. He had to win the second chance Battle Royal just to even get a shot in this matchup. He overcame names like Punk, AJ Styles, Apollo Crews, Jack Swagger, and The Ryback to get in here. Making his way to the ring from Newcastle, England, weighing in at 194 pounds, he is the man gravity forgot. This is the pay-per-view debut of Neville, 1-0 on his career in MDT, defeated Apollo Crews to earn his shot here in this Money in the Bank qualifier. A definite high flyer in this division, and he could definitely make some noise here at Money in the Bank. The Kid! Look at Neville already eyeing the other talent in this matchup. Jeff Hardy, Christian, RVD, all men considered public enemy number one for the king of the cruiserweights here in this matchup. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. And there is Dolph Ziggler, Brad. He overcame Ryback in an upset victory. He was supposed to take on Shelton Benjamin, but Shelton Benjamin was again assaulted by the Shield, leading to the Ryback to make his debut on MDT Live. Everybody counted out Ziggler to win that matchup. And sure enough, he defeated Ryback, and here he is in his pay-per-view debut for MDT. And there it is, the prize in the sky, the Money in the Bank briefcase contract inside for an MDT championship opportunity at any given time for up to a year. And here we go, Brad Money in the Bank underway. Oh, oh my God! God! RKO out of nowhere by Randy Orton on Rob Van Dam. Christ! My goodness gracious, the Viper strikes out of nowhere. Oh, here comes Neville. Oh, oh RKO my God. out of nowhere again. My goodness. Two men down already as a drop kick Jesus. to Randy Orton takes him out there. My God. And Christian on looking here. He doesn't see the super oh. kick from Dolph Ziggler. It super kicks Christian straight to the outside. My God, two RKOs out of nowhere. And here we are Ooh. going. Dolph Ziggler, the first one to get a ladder outside, sliding it back inside the ring here. That ladder's not tall enough, silly. Oh, look out, Jeff Hardy. Oh, oh. Van Daminator springboard. Jesus. Oh, and a drop kick to the ladder takes out Ziggler. My goodness, RVD with the kicks already, recovering from that RKO. Oh, here comes a monkey jump to Orton. Oh, oh the onto the spine of the Viper. My goodness, payback for that RKO. Oh, and a shot to the freaking shin of RVD by Neville with that ladder, recovering from the RKO. One hell of a shinner. Goodness gracious, and here comes Christian to attack Neville, but he blocks it, and a left hand Ooh. from Neville to Christian as RVD trying to get back up onto his feet, but... Oh, Jeff Hardy using him as a platform. Oh. Go straight over, my goodness, as he takes out Neville and Christian. Very innovative by Jeff Hardy there to use RVD as a platform to use his offense. RVD setting up the ladder. He sets up the ladder indeed, as Jeff Hardy looks like he's going to be making the climb as well as both men ascend the ladder, making it to the top here. Oh, RVD going for the briefcase, but he can't do it. Here comes Ziggler. Oh, and he super kicks the ladder, and oh both men come tumbling down. My goodness gracious. Both RVD and Jeff Hardy took a tumble there as Ziggler's going to use this opportunity to set the ladder up. He makes his way up the ladder here. Oh, he's going to win. Dolph Ziggler has an opportunity at the Money in the Bay, but oh, here comes Orton. Randy Orton. Oh, Randy Orton's got the leg of Dolph Ziggler. What's he have in mind here? Oh, he swings him down. Oh! Huge RKO off the ladder. My God. Lord. Three men have taken RKO's. Now in this matchup, RKO's for everyone, it seems. It's just an RKO handout frenzy here. Randy Orton's got an opportunity now at the Money in the Bank. He's going to make a climb here. Well, here oh, comes Neville. Here comes Neville on the springboard. Oh, nice transition to the ladder. Oh, and a shot. Oh, and another shot. Oh, my goodness. What is Neville thinking here? Oh, my oh. God. Sunset powerbomb off the ladder. God. He's got to be dead as shit. Landed on his back and neck area of Randy Orton. My goodness, that is definitely going to slow down the Viper. As Christian's on the outside here, it looks like he's going to go for some extras. It looks like he's getting a table here. Christian's got wood. 
Well, Christian's got wood indeed as it looks like he is going to take his time out of the Money in the Bank match to set up this table on the outside here. Don't know what the plans could be for Christian here as he better stop RVD. But Jeff Hardy's interfering with RVD climbing the ladders. He gives him a strike there. Christian finally makes his way in. Oh, oh and he plants Jeff Hardy off the ladder there. Goodness gracious. some face paint on that ladder now. Definitely there. Oh, and a shot from Christian to RVD. And an Irish whip through the middle of the ladder as Neville is making his own sort of building logs here on the outside with the it's ladder. A ladder bridge. He's made a ladder bridge, but Christian's making his way up the ladder at the Money in the Bank. But here comes Ziggler. Ziggler sliding in to make the stop. Christian's got an opportunity, but there's Neville on the apron. Watch out. Oh, Ooh. super kick. Makes Neville land on the ladder here. As Ziggler better stop Christian. Christian's going to win here. Come on, Christian. Oh, he slows down Christian Damn. soon enough here as he's making a climb. Oh, he's on the back of Christian. My God, he's trying to choke him out here. Good oh, my God. Oh. Zigzag off the top of the ladder. My goodness, they fell forever. It looks like RVD is making a climb here, and I'm not exactly sure what he's doing. Lord. But, oh, my God, he's making a climb even higher here onto the scaffolding surrounding the ring. Oh, my goodness, don't do this, RVD. This is nuts. Look out below. Oh! My God, Neville's broken in half. Holy shit, indeed. Holy shit, holy shit. Both men are broken in half. My God, look at Neville. Oh God. I cannot believe the risk that RVD has just made here as Jeff Hardy's on the, oh my goodness, a drop oh. kick. Plants Randy Orton's face on the apron here as he's trying to recover. I think his nose may have some damage to it there. As, oh, Jeff Hardy's on the apron. Here he comes. Oh, oh my God, he caught him in an RKO. Good God. Four RKOs now have been handed out as both men lay waste on the outside. My goodness. All six men have killed their bodies here in this matchup. My God, what have we witnessed? Bodies broken. What in the hell is happening now? Is that Bobby Lashley? Are you shitting me? What does Bobby Lashley have to do with this matchup? He's got, he's got a referee with him. He's hunting RVD. My God, you're right, Brad. He's looking for RVD. He's got the referee. He, the Extreme Championship is on the line. He's got his ass right where he wants him. My God, he's taking advantage of an opportunity. That the 24/7 rule. My goodness, I, I, you gotta, you gotta give it to Bobby Lashley right here. And that's, that's it. it. New Extreme Champion is Bobby Lashley as he takes advantage of an unconscious oh. RED. Oh, it's, it's on the referee. What in the hell? He just helped him. My God, and Bobby Lashley escapes through the crowd. I cannot believe what we have just seen. Your new Extreme Champion is Bobby Lashley. What an asshole. My goodness gracious. Well, we got to get back to the matchup here. Dolph Ziggler makes it back to his feet. And Christian, oh, he's looking for the Stinger Splash. Oh, oh and he comes up empty as the ladder lands on him. My goodness gracious here. RVD finally getting back to consciousness as, oh, what is Christian thinking here? He's got Dolph Ziggler on top of this ladder. What is he thinking? Oh, my God. Not the prettier. Oh. oh, my God. Jesus. Dolph Ziggler's got to be out, Cole Brad. He's motionless on top of that ladder. Oh, look out, Christian. Oh, wow. Van Daminator to Christian's face. Oh, and you can't blink twice as the Viper strikes the knee of RVD with that ladder as Neville has finally gotten conscious as he flips the ladder over on its side now. And oh my God, what is he thinking here? He's getting some momentum. He's going to go oh on the God. ladder. Oh my God. Crossbody to the outside. Very nice innovative move by Neville here, but he gives Randy Orton an opportunity now to money in the bank briefcase as Randy Orton sets up the ladder and he's going to ascend to the top. I don't know if anybody's even around. Randy Orton's going to win the matchup. There's RVD. Springboard. Oh, oh he oh. kicks him out of midair. Oh. But Neville, Neville has recovered. Springboard on a Randy Orton's back. What is he doing? Oh, backstabber! Oh, my God. God, I know that just crushed Randy Orton's spinal cord. The backstabber to the back. My goodness, he fell so far down. Now Ziggler's got wood. Ziggler has wood now. Oh, my God, what's RVD? Oh, oh my God, he takes out Christian to the inside. Like a Ziggler. helicopter of death in the ring. Ziggler sets up a table to the outside. Oh, oh and he takes out Neville as well here. As Ziggler is waiting behind RVD. Oh, and a super kick from Dolph Ziggler. As I think he's got an opportunity at the Money in the Bank briefcase. Dolph Ziggler's going to have an opportunity here. He's setting the ladder in the right position. 
as it looks like he's going to be making his own climb here. He could go, man. All, all men are down here. Dolph Ziggler up the side of the ladder. Oh, here comes here Hardy. Jeff. Here comes Hardy. And he ascends the ladder as Dolph Ziggler is very, very close to unhooking the briefcase. Oh. oh, he slaps him. Oh, what is he thinking? Oh, my goodness gracious, alive. Uh, Twist, Twist of the fate. fate. Twist of fate up the top of the ladder. My goodness gracious, alive. Randy Orton now looking up under the ring. Christian now building his own mechanisms inside the ring. As the table is set up, Orton and Christian. Neville, oh man, competing here's a oh. clothesline from Neville. Gets Christian, he pops up on his feet. Oh, he loads him onto the apron. Oh, and a shot by Neville. Oh, and an elbow there by Christian. Oh, he's got him in the suplex. Look oh my that. God. Look at this. Oh my God, what a suplex from Christian. Takes out Neville to the outside. There are two corpses in front of us. Two corpses, broken tables and ladders as Randy Orton looking to get back inside the ring here. But I think RVD has different plans. Whoa. Oh, he kicks Randy Orton straight onto the table. And I don't know what Jeff Hardy's doing. He's going to take an opportunity. At the, oh, what is he doing? He's moving the, he's moving oh the ladder. God. He's moving the ladder closer to the ring apron. Oh my God, what is Jeff Hardy doing? I am exhausted. I can't do this anymore. I, I don't think anyone can, man. This is ridiculous. What are you doing, Jeff Hardy? He's not even near the briefcase. He could have won the matchup. Oh, my goodness gracious alive. And Jeff Hardy, I think he's thinking high risk here as he removes the tank top and throws it to the side. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Ah! Bodies are broken. Corpses. All for the sake of the money in the bank briefcase. Ziggler. Ziggler has an opportunity here. He's going to be making the climb here. Can he win the contract? Here comes Christian. Christian. Come on. Building a bridge. Oh, he's trying to stop Ziggler. Oh, Ziggler kicks him in the face. Oh, Ziggler's got God. an opportunity. Oh, Ziggler reaching for the money in the bank. He may win it here. Oh, RBD. RBD. He springboards. A whiff by Ziggler. Oh, God. On a kick to Scott. Oh, God. Oh, he makes the fall under the bridge of ladder. RVD all alone at the top of the ladder. He's got the briefcase in hand. It's over. He's done it. RVD is the first ever Mr. Money in the Bank of MDT. As the carnage lay waste. My God. At ringside, every man in this match put their bodies on the line. They have destroyed the arena. They have destroyed their bodies. RVD has lost his extreme championship. I'm sure that is what the official is letting him know. But I don't think that this man gives a damn. He just got the money in the bank briefcase. RVD has done it. He has ascended to the top of MDT. He has a contract for up to one year. Congratulations to RVD. We will see you at Vindication.